Hello, beautiful people. So today's agenda, well, first off, hello, hi. Jasmine is out here. Thought I'd start off the vlog because I have the day off and it's kind of like a slow day and I need to clean my apartment because I have dishes in the sink that need to be done. And I have laundry that I need to put away and laundry to do. And I also have a few errands that I need to run today. So I'm just, I think I'll do this over a course of like several days just because not a lot is happening today, which is fine. And I think I'm having not a midlife crisis, but I'm having a reevaluation of the current season that I'm in. I feel like everyone else right now, and it's not like me looking on social media because truly like no one's like really posting on social media in a way for me to be like, oh, they're living life. It just feels like because of the lack of me being on social media, I am more present, which is great, a great thing. But it's also making me realize that like, I think I need to get out of this homebody phase, at least for this season, because it's making me feel inadequate and that I'm not doing anything with my life. Even though I'm doing things that like I enjoy, I'm finding myself getting bored very easily and very quickly. And I think that's just because like, I'm inside all the time, I'm at home all the time. Like I work from home, I go to the gym, I run my errands, I come home. But I really need to like plan to just like look at the sky more. I don't know. I feel like that's the realization that I've had is just like, I need to live life in a way that I don't regret. And I feel like I come to this realization like maybe like once a year, but like as I'm getting older, it's becoming more frequent. And I'm like, you know what? You just, you just need to do what you need to do and like do things that you love and do things like when you want to and don't limit yourself. So yeah. And also like this current season too, like I have no travel plans, which I think is like kind of affecting me a little bit. Um, I have travel plans coming up in the next quarter of the year, but in this current quarter that I'm in of the year, I have no travel plans. Like I am in Denver the entire time. I'm not traveling in any way, shape or form. Uh, your girl is homebound. Whereas like next quarter, I'm traveling a few times. I might travel a little bit more, but I have two trips that are kind of like locked in right now. Semi locked in, but they're about to be locked in in the next few weeks because uh, we got to get a rental car for one of them, which I'm going to document those trips anyway. Um, I'm very excited about them. I'm going overseas. I'm going to Europe so excited going to New York again which is like standard for you girl at this point I mean my family is from there so it makes sense that I would go to New York on an almost yearly basis but yeah going to New York um very excited to be back in New York I love New York I think it's the older that I get I'm like oh it'd be so nice to live there it'd be so nice to live there if it wasn't so expensive but everywhere is expensive but i'm sure i could afford like some place i don't know if i could afford this size for the same price i feel like if i got this size apartment in new york i would be paying like triple <laughs> and i cannot afford that no no ma'am no ma'am anyways Let's get into these next few days. I'm gonna finish drinking my matcha that I made, which is basically creamer at this point. So it always like goes down to the bottom, I feel like. I mix it well, but you know, it be what it be. And I'm watching an like 
I'm slowly making my way through the rings of power. And there's like a chase happening right now. And I can tell by the sounds. But literally, it's so dark on the screen that I can't see what's happening. And I'm just like, your girl loves fantasy. I love a fantasy moment. Fantasy series are so great. But this whole aesthetic of like, when it's dark out, we need to make it very dark. Girl, I can't see. And I need to be able to see. And I don't have bad eyesight. Like, I can see clearly. And your girl can't see what's happening. on. Like, I'm... You know what I mean? Like, I'm... And nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, that's a little disappointing. Y'all, there's things happening, but I can't see them. Barely see it. Hello, beautiful people. So I finished running my errands. I got my stuff from Target. I stopped by Mr. Bakery. And you know that she got her blueberry cookies. Um, which are freaking delicious, by the way. 
I shared on my Instagram that people should go to this place just because like anytime I find something that I really like I just like to share it I've just it's just who I am but um made some fun plans for the remainder of this week uh some of them pretty chill other plans are a little bit more I wouldn't say robust they're they're more active they're more active um I'm going thrifting this week uh, with my best friend Melanie and we're going to the Goodwill outlet and I was told to wear protective gloves so excited and a little nervous for the fact that I have to wear protective gloves but I think it's going to be good good chaotic energy I'm just kidding it's going to be good and we're going to have some fun thrifting and like getting things um, and just kind of like browsing because like the joys of thrifting it's really great and sustainable I'm very sustainable you know trying to be sustainable as I possibly can but yeah I am going to finish laundry that will be the last part of kind of getting my apartment in order because my living room is clean as you guys have seen my kitchen is clean everything's like put away I just now need to do my laundry All right. Oof. I just got back from Platt Park area. Obviously, went to Tokyo Premium Bakery. Devoured, absolutely devoured my chocolate croissant. And now I'm having my matcha latte, which is the best. It's so good. Like, y'all know I'm already obsessed with this place. I went stop by there because i was on the way back home from getting the keys and um a few extra bits from the place that i'm going to be dog sitting uh for this weekend same people that i always dog sit for so you'll see those um little pups okay for a second there i thought like i had a giant spider in my living room <laughs> almost freaked out <laughs> Y'all know I don't do dumb spotters, girl. Anyways, yeah, I worked out this morning and then went over to like get some stuff from the people that I'm gonna be dog sitting for. And then was like, you know what? Treat yourself. You treat yourself often, but treat yourself. <laughs> I feel like I need to calm down, but you know, you only have one life. You only have one life. Why not, you know? But I have a, a meeting here shortly decided to kind of like take the morning to be kind of slow since I worked a little bit late last night and um ooh, cracked a bone in my ankle uh but yeah I decided to kind of take the morning very slow because I don't have meetings until the afternoon and then exciting exciting thing is that I am going to a Japanese tea garden ceremony at the Denver Botanic Gardens. Only caveat is that you can't like film in there or anything. So like, and that's fine. I'd rather be very present and aware of what's going on in there because it's just gonna be a very beautiful ceremony. I'm very excited. We got tickets. Mm, now that I think about it, I don't think I paid for my ticket yet. I feel like life has been great in the fact that Mm, I'm just all over the place. I don't know if it's like been great in that in that aspect, but it's life is still good. It's just I've been all over the place. And so trying to keep myself aware of what's happening has been kind of a challenge, but I'm, I'm getting back into it. I'm getting back into like a good structure and order, especially since like the next month or two, I don't have any travel plans so I can really establish a good routine um for myself and kind of like get back on track before i have to travel um in the next quarter so yeah in the next few months like a few months of not traveling and then after that your girl's traveling like once a month and going to new york going to europe going to central america 
So um, it might go some places in the United States. I kind of need to like see <laughs> about those smaller trips, like make some weekend trips or whatever. Um, but yeah, anyways, I need to get out of my sweaty clothes because I am your girl's drenched and I need to get on it so I can prepare for my afternoon meeting that I have. Um, also, like, I need to check my emails because a client might be releasing their newest updates to their app today. I really doubt it's going to happen today. I think we're going to make it happen tomorrow. <laughs> Which, if it happens tomorrow, your girl is off. So, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Anyways, I'm going to get ready. I'm gonna burn this candle, cypress and juniper that I got from uh, Target, the Studio McGee. I've been liking it. It's not bad. Like I can actually smell it. Anyways, let me take a shower and get out of these clothes, and I'll talk to y'all most likely when I'm getting ready for the Japanese tea garden ceremony, which I'm so excited because tickets sell out like that. And I'm not a member of the Denver Botanic Gardens. I really should be, but like, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. Okay, that makes me feel good. But that is done. All right. So I just logged on and I'm very glad that I have a matcha latte because I need the caffeine <clears throat> to get me through this day because I was supposed to have a really chill build day and only have one meeting with a client, which is my like daily meetings that I have with my one client, my main client. But uh, the other client that I was talking about is going to release their updates not today but tomorrow and so that means that we have to do a lot of testing and like make it priority and because of that we have a two-hour meeting scheduled today um which was not originally on the calendar so today just got a little bit busier and a little bit longer because i was planning to work on this build for a certain amount of time and I still need to work on it for a certain amount of time to kind of meet my goals but uh for this quarter but um yeah I was not expecting that I have a doctor's appointment today and I also am going to that Japanese tea garden so after I come back from everything I need to like come and work um to finish up a few things because I kind of took this morning to chill because I was like, oh, this afternoon will be a lot easier. I'll be able to kind of catch up. I won't have to like, you know, do a lot and unexpected things happen. Um, we had a, a late meeting last night with this client as well and found out some things in the requirements that were not making sense to them. And they were requirements that they wrote for us, for our team to kind of work on and fix and build. And we built it according to the requirements and like it's smooth but they realized last minute like oh we actually should have reassessed this because yes you've built it to the requirements that are stated here but we didn't account for this part which is absolutely crucial for this update that's going to be happening for our app and so yeah a lot of things kind of became very stressful for our project manager who is handling it like beautifully. Um, but yeah, major shout out to him. Like he's doing a good job, but it is still like kind of tough to have new requirements kind of thrown in and I have to just like, all right, we gotta nose the keyboard, kind of keep this chugging along. So that is my day right now. I'm not too stressed, but I feel really bad for the project manager on our side because I'm just like, this was very unexpected. We did our part, but now we have to push at the last minute and test very fast, which I'm not a huge fan of like testing quickly. I'm 
a fan of like testing thoroughly and early and when things get tested like late it just makes the entire process a little bit more challenging because you're getting things at the last minute and you know something's gonna get like missed and i just don't like that feeling so yeah anyways um i'm gonna continue working uh before i have my meeting in about an hour and a half and then i basically will be in meetings for three hours just building and working and talking through things and all that stuff. I um, feel like the life of an app developer is not that glamorous. At least I can't make it that glamorous. I mean, I work from home and I'm just at my computer kind of like doing stuff. And I can't really show you because, you know, confidentiality and all that stuff. Like, and I didn't sign an NDA, so it's not like I can't talk about what I'm building or anything, but it's like, I can't exactly just show you the code that I'm working on. Because, you know, hacking exists. And your girl don't want to do that to her company. Um, Because I really like the company that I work for. And I would hate for them to, like, for me to, like, expose code um, or apps that we're building on when it's, like, I didn't get consent from the client to, like, put this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to show, like, private information like that. I can show you me working, which is kind of boring a little bit, but it is what it is. Like, kind of talk through some of the things that I'm doing. Um, But yeah, I am going to finish this um, up. Oh, I will share like a nice update. So one of the clients that I work for, they needed like an integration kind of built out for them very simple integration kind of like a form thing where they fill out information in a form it pulls it into an app uh, and then through it kind of pulling that information into the app it will send emails based on certain requirements being fulfilled Um, and we use Workato for that for some of our integrations and um so i built like a bunch of ricotta recipes to like do some email automated email sending um out to those who don't have access to the app so that they're getting like views and stuff like that and dashboards all that fun stuff and i work with like our main con- contact who's like the admin for this app on their side for the client side and i can't really read them that well like I do like working from them with them and they are very vocal if something is wrong um which i appreciate like let me know if something's wrong so i can fix it and they're like very quick and immediate when that happens um but they're also like if you can teach me how to do it teach me how to do it <laughs> type of thing and so i've done that and i was like i just don't know like if i like interacted with them well or not Um, Because sometimes it is hard to read people and my boss is really good about trying to do this every quarter Or not like every quarter just like periodically of like let's reach out to the people that you're working with and get feedback Like direct feedback whether it's good or bad and if it's good We can like share it with the entire company if it's bad. We'll just share it with you (laughs) So that not you're not getting like, you know a poop rain type thing Um, You're not getting pooped on (laughs) And so I got feedback and it was like very good. Um, They were like, yeah, she helped us with like a really complicated integration build. And um, she's always like super efficient, very responsive, quick to like help and very patient throughout the entire thing. And I was like, okay, so I am doing a good job. Um, so yeah, ask for feedback from the clients that you're working with. I think just doing like a retro, um, as often as you can with your clients as you're building things for them, like whether that's an app or a website or just like whatever tech thing or non-tech thing, like asking for feedback is so vital in all aspects of life so you know where you stand and how you're doing and like ways that you can improve at least it's for me because i'm always trying to like grow and be better and like be a better communicator because i know i'm not a perfect communicator and there's a lot of places that i can grow in that 
So anyways, I need to continue building and get things updated and prepare for my meetings. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Weird wording. Oh, and we have to go on a I just went to Grease Monkey because I had a piece under my vehicle that like fell due to the weather and also like the debris <laughs> that's been on the road and so they fixed it for me which was really really nice. I need to see if they like had a screw or not or if they had string because if they had a screw then it's like semi-permanent if they had string then I need to like go somewhere where they will have the part and get it fixed but love grease monkey they're so nice and they did it for free like they didn't charge me for it which was really nice but yeah now I'm on the way back home because I need to pick up a few things you know take care of a few errands and then I'm going to a farmer's market actually today in City Park. So I'm excited to meet some friends. I'm gonna be there at like 10 o'clock. I also have not eaten this morning. So I'm a little hungry. I mean, I'm not actually hungry. I need coffee because I'm tired. And I mean like actual coffee, not like a matcha latte or a chai. Like I need caffeine, caffeine, but I should probably just do a matcha cause that's not gonna make me feel as uh, jittery. Oh, I was <laughs> 